Hello student. In this section, let us talk about virtual number of teeth related to helical gears. The pitch cylinder of helical gear is cut by a plane AA which is normal to the tooth element as shown in figure. When a cylinder is cut by a plane which is inclined to its base, the cut section is an ellipse. We will apply this rule of engineering drawing to pitch cylinder. The intersection of the plane AA which is inclined to the base of the cylinder and the pitch cylinder produces an ellipse. The ellipse is shown by dotted line. The semi major and semi minor axis of the ellipse are given by d upon 2 cos psi and d by 2 respectively. This can be proved from the physical analytical condition that the radius of curvature r dash at any point b is given by r dash is equal to a square upon b where a and B are semi major and semi minor axis. Substituting the values of A and B in the expression for R dash, we can write down R dash is equal to D upon 2 cos psi whole bracket square divided by D by 2. Therefore, R dash can be written as D upon 2 cos square psi. In the design of helical gears, an imaginary spur gear is considered in a plane AA with a center at O dash having a pitch circle radius of R dash and module MN. It is called a formative or virtual spur gear. This formative gear is as shown in figure. The pitch circle diameter D dash of the virtual gear is given by D dash is equal to 2 R dash which is equal to D upon cos square psi. The number of teeth z dash on this imaginary spur gear is called the virtual number of teeth and it is given by z dash is equal to 2 pi r dash divided by p n is equal to 2 pi into bracket d upon 2 into cos square psi divided by pi into m n. So I can write down the same as z dash is equal to d upon mn into cos square psi. So that gives me the formula for z dash as z upon cos cube psi where z is the actual number of teeth. Thank you.